YouTube, my name is Courtney, and I'm here to talk about what makes One Direction so overexposed. I mean, we all know they're overexposed, but why? Well, in order for me to properly go into this, let's first take a look at their fantastic song, What Makes You Beautiful, and look at the lyrics closer for a minute. I mentioned how much I hate this song. Like, seriously, stop playing it on the radio. It's overplayed. Wow, that was a great way to get my attention in One Direction. Yes, I am aware that I am insecure, but thank you for pointing out my self-esteem issue. Please, tell me more about my problems. Wait, so I'm amazing just the way I am, right? Then what exactly is it that I'm covering up? My dang sexiness? Because I am hot. I understand that One Direction. Thank you so much for pointing out, once again, the obvious to me. Okay, One Direction, the only reason that everyone else in the room can see my sexiness except for me is because there aren't mirrors plastered all over the walls. And believe me, if there were mirrors all over the walls, then I'm pretty sure I would be paralyzed in a state of shock from the utter sexiness that radiates from my body and fills the entire room. I know, I'm just, I'm so hot that I make people's hearts be filled with joy and happiness and rainbows and smiley faces and kisses and cookies and all things good in the world. Oh, but of course it does. One Direction, of course the way I flip my hair gets you overwhelmed. You know why? Because half of you in this band have that shaggy, flippy, weird haircut. Like seriously, learn to get a comb and use it and then get your butt on stage because people pay good money to come and see you. So get a haircut. Oh, I'm sorry, One Direction. Am I being too bossy? I couldn't hear you over the sound of you telling me not to wear makeup because I cover up my dang sexiness. You know, I wasn't really sure if a lot of other people do this, but sometimes I come home and I lay down on the ground and I caress it and I smile and I ask it how its day was, but clearly One Direction understands because I really thought that I was the only one who did this, but seriously, a smile can really brighten the ground's day and make it so much happier. And, you know, I just, I feel like, wow, a new sense of dignity. Okay, whoa, rewind. Let's, let's go back a little bit. So, the only reason that I can't see what you can see, uh, oh, are you, you, you're looking out my butt. You're checking me out, bro. Of course I can't see my butt. I mean, my head doesn't stretch that far. See, nope, nope, can't see it. But, but you can, that must be that one thing that you were looking for, right? And also, um, am I not allowed to know that I'm beautiful in order to be, Beautiful? That, that not knowing that I'm beautiful makes me beautiful? Okay. See, I actually did know that I was beautiful. So, am I not beautiful anymore? Stupid paradox. My little feminine brain can't comprehend this sheer stupidity or this big concept. But this, I mean, I just, I, I don't understand, but it sure can comprehend the stupidity of these lyrics. One Direction, you don't know, uh oh, you don't know, you're annoying. And oh, 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 that's what makes you annoying. So now that we went ahead and went over that, I'm gonna go ahead and give you an analogy about One Direction and their songs. It's like One Direction made some macaroni art and made it and gave it to their mom. And their mom in this case is the X Factor. 
and instead of putting it on the fridge, their mom just skipped right to the freaking Metropolitan Museum of Art, and everyone all of a sudden thought that it was some beautiful masterpiece, but in reality, it's still just freaking macaroni art. Oh, except for they're British, so you know, they poured some tea all over it, and now it has that one thing. Can we just talk about the fact that because they're British, everyone thinks that they're 5,000 times better than they actually are? I mean, what's so great about a stupid accent? I could sit here and make the rest of my points in this video in a British accent. But I won't, because this is America. Would talking in a British accent make me any better, hotter, or funnier than I was 10 seconds ago? No, it didn't. So it doesn't make this stereotypical boy band with their stupid cliche lyrics any better, hotter, or funnier either. That brings me to my next point. Everyone seems to think that One Direction is the hottest thing since global warming. For some reason, half of their fans are fans because, oh my god, One Direction is so hot and so attractive and oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, let me have your babies XOXOXO hard. Seriously? You're willing to subject yourself to listening to another stereotypical boy band with cliche lyrics, auto-tune, and the same basic chords that every other pop song in America has because these boys are hot? That doesn't make you beautiful. That makes you stupid. In fact, it's almost as stupid as their overdone, overplayed, and overexposed cliche lyrics, or their fandom claiming to hate the radio and Nickelodeon for making them famous. That's almost as stupid as One Directioners in general, who complain about the people becoming fans of the band because of these networks that are making them famous. However, I would kind of see where they're coming from, because if One Direction weren't famous for their tea-covered macaroni art garbage, I wouldn't be staying up all night hearing about this crap. Unfortunately, it seems like the only way to get rid of One Direction is to throw away every form of technology I own and stay far, far away and live like the Amish. However, that prevents me from going on the internet to complain about this nonsense and to upload this video and publish it to the world. And for the record, you are beautiful because you are who you are and express yourself the way you want to, not because of One Direction sees or wants you to be. And that, folks, is why this British band is overexposed. Seriously, I'm no hotter than I was 10 seconds ago just because I talked in a bad British accent. That's what makes you annoying and overexposed and everything else in the world. I don't even know. I didn't know how to end this, so I'm just kind of rambling about life.